Our first guest tonight has testicles of steel. Literally, the doctors had to replace the real ones with metal because he broke them. He is an unkillable man with a relatively safe new comedy series called Reboot with Keegan-Michael Key and Paul Reiser. I used to be pretty bummed out that when the show ended, I never heard from any of you guys again. I mean, you played my parents and then you were just gone. But now that I'm an adult, I just want you to know that I get it. Okay, you weren't my real dad. You were just playing my dad. Right. So I shouldn't have been disappointed that I never heard from you after the show ended, not even on my birthday. Well, I'm really not into birthdays or kids. Reboot careers tomorrow on Hulu. Please welcome Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> Well, first, I want to thank you for jetting all the way back from Queen Elizabeth's funeral to be yes. here with us tonight. God save the Queen. I know she meant a lot to you. Yes. <laughs> it's good yes. to see you. Your, uh, this new show of yours is very, very funny. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. It's, it's, it's I'm, you know, to be part of a quality project, I, it, this, I, it's, a very, it's a surprise to me. Well, <laughs> you've been part of a lot of quality projects, and sometimes they're dangerous. Uh, I mean, <laughs> this is one that is, let's just say this, you don't come home from work with a colostomy bag, yeah? I, I came home with a, a, I had to, I broke something once, and I had to have a pee bag for like six to eight weeks. Yeah. But yeah. not on this gig. Not on this show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> you, uh, are you getting along with everybody? Because I know you're co-stars. I mentioned a couple, Paul Reiser. I get along like... with everybody Good. except Judy Greer. Uh, Judy Greer you don't yes. get along with. Why is that? She says things to hurt my feelings. Really? Uh, I, simple things. I come in to park in the morning, and she parks right next to me. So someday she'll park sideways just to take up both of our spots. Do you think she's doing that on purpose or is she just a bad driver? No, she does it on purpose. She does it on purpose. To hurt my feelings. <laughs> By the way, she dog sat her friend's dog the other day while we were doing press. She lost her dog. The dog's name was Jones. She found it. But don't leave your dog with Judy Greer. Does Judy's... <laughs> Friend, no, she lost her dog. Or she does she... now. She does now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are, oh, I do want to mention you are going to be on Celebrity Family Feud with some of your uh, family members oh, from yes. Jackass yeah, coming up here. It was such a coincidence. I just had on the same exact suit as Steve Harvey that day. <laughs> How? What a coincidence that is. How embarrassing. And it really threw him. And <laughs> Oh, Steve didn't know? No, he didn't know. No. And it was just all downhill from there for Steve, the rest of the show, because the <laughs> wheels fell completely off. But they, it went from a 30-minute show to they're like, I think we can get an hour out of this. I noticed you brought your uh, kids here, Rocco and Arlo. Yeah, Rocco and, there and they Arlo. Are. They're, oh. Rocco and Arlo are great kids. I know you know this. Arlo is my daughter Jane's buddy at school. Like yeah. she takes, she's the older kid, and Jane's the little kid. Yeah, and it's really sweet. Yes, it's very sweet. And Rocco, your son, is uh, is becoming quite an accomplished baseball player. Yeah, I had a pretty good arm. He's got a great arm. Uh, we just got back from a tournament in Cooperstown, New York, and we have some video of that. Yeah. Uh, I believe he yeah. he pitched nine innings over two games and struck out eighteen people. Two or three people. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm sure all those other kids who struck out are going to be super happy to see that <laughs> on TV. They are on Kimmel tonight. <laughs> so you played uh, Little League at high school? What, how? Yeah, I played from six until I was 18. It's like I was either go to college and play or come out to LA and try something. We have a pit. That's you. Now, what yes. happened to all that muscle? Where did that go? <laughs> It dropped into my belly. <laughs> what position did you play? I played, I pitched and played first base. Okay. Yeah, I... so I loved it. Did you want to be a professional or go pro? I knew I couldn't be a professional. I could have played college, but that's about where I would have petered out. And then you decided, you know what, maybe this is not going to be the thing for me. Maybe I'll start um, driving nails through my penis, etc. cetera. <laughs> <laughs> Earplugs, Arlo. <laughs> did you did you listen to your coach? Like, were you a 
Um, oh, I had some great coaches growing up, uh, some great travel ball clubs. But Who were? Do you remember any of your coaches? Oh, yeah, Coach Atkins, my high school coach. He was literally one of the best coaches in the Southeast, but, man, he was tough. I remember I, I smarted off my first year, my freshman year in practice, and he's like, he just straight up threatened to whip my ass. Oh, and I did? was like, yeah. uh, you know, I tried to get out of that. <laughs> but he was an amazing coach. And eventually he was retiring about 10 years ago, and Jeff Ross helped me. Well, Jeff Ross wrote a bunch the of roast jokes for his General. roast. Yes. Yep. Oh. None of which I can repeat on the show tonight. You roasted your ex-coach. Yeah, and Jeff Ross gave me some doozies. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And then we sent him to, I sent him to Hawaii as a, as a gift for retiring. Do you? Oh, you did? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's nice. He had a, yeah, well, he's great. I mean, when he's not threatening me, he's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> if, little did he imagine that that kid whose ass he threatened to whip <laughs> on the field would send him to Hawaii <laughs> one day. <laughs> and... And even be wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the question. How old are you, Rocco? How old are you now? I'm 12. 12 years old. OK. Do you think Rocco could strike you out? Oh, God. I mean, he, he can pitch, but he's 12. I don't, I, Cause buddy, I, imagine, I don't think he can strike me out. I, I wonder, like, if, have you ever told him you can't throw a curveball until you're a certain age? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I just, he's about to turn 13, so I just let him start messing around with the curve. And Rocco, do you realize how wildly hypocritical that is coming from this man? <laughs> <laughs> who, like, who has to wear a cup during his movie shoots, you know? I'm wearing a cup right now. <laughs> so if we were to go out in the back alley and let's say I, let's say I had a, like, a catcher's mitt, a, oh, no. a bat, and a baseball, do you think your son could strike you out. <laughs> oh, now I'm not so confident. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe we should try it out. Maybe we should take a break. You oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. When we come All back, right. we'll see. Uh, it's Knoxville versus Knoxville when we return. <laughs> we'll be right back. Johnny, we have spared no expense uh, to create this, to, this baseball type situation in our alley here. Yeah. Now, for those of you who are just joining us, Johnny's son, Rocco, is a 12-year-old pitcher. He's got quite an arm. And it's interesting to see that time where you go like, oh, I realize my kid can eventually beat me up, but also uh, strike me out. And so we want to see if Rocco can strike his dad out. And you ready to do this? We may be at that day. Now, what are you going <laughs> to do here? Because you have two, you have decision-making. Either you can really go for it and honor your son, or you could kind of intentionally strike out to make him look good, which, you know, I think the long run makes him look bad. I think I need to go for it. I think and, you should uh, go for but it. But I want to say, before we start this, the sun is in my eyes. Mm -hmm. My son is your, in my eyes. Your son? There are two <laughs> suns in your eyes right now. How you feeling, Rocco? You ready to do this? Yeah. All right, here we go. I have not squ squatted in quite some time, so All I'll, right. be, I'll be the catcher. Lou is going to be the umpire here. And uh, I am not wearing a cup on Arlo, who are you rooting for? Rocco. OK. All right, Sister Arlo is here rooting for her brother. And uh, let's see what we got. Whoa. Oh, all right, all right. All right. Strike. No, that wasn't yeah. a strike. Wow. Hey, I'm come on, Lou. My <laughs> God. No, come on, Lou. Let's, be, let's keep it honest here. OK. Ooh. All right. Strike? That's a strike. Right. That's a strike. That's, That's a, strike. a strike. I lost that one, Rocco. We got to get a new one. All right. <laughs> one and one is the count. OK, here we go. Bring that just Remember, right no here. Remember, there's Bell high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Jeez. <laughs> it's one and two. Whoa! It is hard to see, I will yeah. tell you that. I, two and two? It's two and two. Yeah. Okay. Two and two? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. You move for no reason. What? You move for no reason. Well, I can't. Whoa. That was okay. Not Keep talking. Oh, hey, so Arlo, who are you rooting for? Boy, this I reminds said Rocco. me. Of... What do you want him to put it? Uh, your ribs. In my ribs? Yeah. That is not nice, There's Arlo. In your ribs. This reminds me of uh, Luke and Darth Vader. Whoa! Okay, All right, that okay. was a little high, a little oh, high. <laughs> he throws really hard. It's three, full count now. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was high, too. Okay, right, full count, go. Rocco. Oh, full, full count. count? Yeah, yeah. This one I'm going to put on Highland. 
Wait, Highland's that way. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on La Brea. Yeah, go for La Brea. Here we go. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God! That was legit. That was, that was legit. That was no kidding around. Come over here, Rocco. You take your, Arlo, Rocco, Come soak Arlo. it up. Soak up some of the glory here. And Arlo, you too. Wow. So this has got to be... You've got to have mixed feelings about this. Certainly pride, but also humiliation. That was legit. Yeah, that well was done. legit, K. Very nice. Good nice job, K. Buddy. The K family. Johnny Knoxville, In Arlo and Rocco, reboot premieres tomorrow on Hulu. We'll be right back. Do you think you could strike out Olivia Cook? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with Olivia Cook. <laughs> <laughs>